Hello, uh, my name is Ken Barbieri, I'm a jazz trumpet player, and I'm doing a thing called ABCs of Jazz, where I play um, one piece of jazz music each day of the alphabet. Today we're on letter M. And so I think, well, why not we go back to, I talked about Miles Davis a little before, so I'm going to talk about him some more. Uh, the song we're doing is Milestones. Um, now, uh... First, I actually wanted to share a story about Mile, which I thought is very interesting. Um, basically, throughout the period, um, there was like, a, a, around a certain period where he was doing jazz, he, there was a big problem with drugs. Um, a lot of musicians had a lot of issues. Um, people like Charlie Parker, who got um, into like narcotics, for example. And uh, Charlie Parker died at age 35. Um, but anyways, Miles had um, a heroin addiction, and eventually, you know, it, it got worse and worse. And eventually, he decided, well, I need to stop this. But you know, for him, what he did is um, he went, like, you know, he he basically he said in his own words, he said he looked in his in a mirror and realized basically what has happened to him. He's like, I need to stop this. But so what he did is he went all the way down to where his dad lived. And he asked for help. And his dad said, well, all I can offer is my love, but I can't help you. You got to do this on your own. And so what he actually did is he, he um, stayed at one of the guest apartments, uh, one of the two-room guest apartment um, where, at, at his house, at his dad's house. And he locked himself in, didn't eat, didn't drink, didn't obviously take drugs, didn't do anything. He locked himself in there for seven days straight. And he didn't sleep either. He couldn't sleep. Um, and obviously as the drugs, it was like, it would get really, it was really painful for him. Because, uh, but then eventually, he was just taking, and eventually it was over. And he walked out and basically a changed man. <laughs> Uh, so that's how he got over his drug addiction, which I find very interesting. Um, because, unfortunately, like I mentioned, some musicians didn't get out. Uh, yet some musicians didn't get out of um, their drug habits, like Charlie Parker. But Miles Davis is one of those few that did, and he quit cold turkey. Anyway, uh, we're talking about Milestones. Now, um, this song was originally called Miles. But they changed it later to Milestones, which is a pretty funny play on because, you know, Milestones and Miles Tones is Miles Davis, you know, his tones. Um, but anyways, this specific song is uh, actually very, di it's, it's different. It's one of the, um, his first appearances. Uh, it's one of his first songs where he did uh, a modal style of music, which if you don't know what that is, basically it's supposed to... Uh, most songs having a tonic, which is the, um, the first note. It's the root. Number one in the whole chord. Um, and the whole song would kind of revolve around this. Um, but a tonal kind of music. Instead, it alternates between, um, different kind of modes. Now, for those of you that don't know what modes themselves are, they're basically, imagine taking... A C scale. So we have a, or, okay, B flat scale for me, but let's call it a C scale for now. Simple enough. That's actually called an Ionian mode. Um, but now imagine we take that whole scale, don't change any of the notes, but instead we start on the second and we go up to the second. So instead of starting at C, we start at D. Congratulations, you have a Dorian mode. That's what that's called. And for so on, then there's... Um, and, you know, and so on. There's seven of them, because there are seven different notes um, in the whole chord. Uh, basically, for each of them, there's uh, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Um, those are all the different ones. And basically, all they do, they don't change any notes, but they just start on a different note in one specific scale. Um, and so, um, yeah, I believe, yeah, so, 
tonal kind of music just has the same scale, but instead they change to different modes of it. Um, and the root is obviously different, even though it's the same notes in the chord. Um, anyways, yeah. Let's see, And uh, actually, this basically, it then evolves into So What, which is, because um, this is the first example of him doing it, but the second uh, modal kind of piece, but the second time is So What, which was a song in his album Kind of Blue, which, very famous album, one of his most well-known um, and so, you know, thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, I'm going to play this for you, play the melody and then improvise a little bit. So, hope you enjoy. Oh, what? Oh, the wonder is off. There we go. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. 